Sharon Steitler, the bird chick here, and today we're going to talk about the latest birding craze that's sweeping the nation, a big sit, and how to do it. And I'm so excited because we're going to talk to one of the big movers and shakers of the big sit world, Bill Thompson, the editor of Birdwatcher's Digest magazine. Howdy, Bill. Hey, Sharon. How you doing? I'm doing fine. How are you? <laughs> I'm fine. I'm excited to learn about th what this big sit thing is all about. Well, it's a cool thing. It's my favorite birding event of the year. A big sit is pretty close to what its name suggests. It's a big day spent sitting in one place. So what you do is you find a very birdy spot near a nice variety of habitat and you sit there for as much of 24 hours as you can stand and count all the bird species that you see. So how did the Big Sit get started? Are, are you the person that founded the Big Sit phenomenon? I did not invent this, but it's one of my favorite events, and I, so I've been sort of behind helping it for a lot of years. The modern version of the Big Sit, the Big Sit concept's been around for a long, long time. Um, sitting in one place and seeing what birds will pass by. You know, there's a theory that if you stay in one place long enough, every bird species on Earth will pass by there sooner or later. Um, in the modern era, in the last sort of 15, 20 years, the Big Sit concept has been kind of developed and organized a little bit by the New Haven Bird Club in New Haven, Connecticut. And they uh, are sort of the owners of the trademark name Big Sit, but they're very uh, easygoing in sharing the concept with uh, people using it all over the world. So those folks uh, are working with us. We compile the data on our website and uh, people can enter their data, sign up their team. So what if you see a really cool bird? Like what if an ivory bill woodpecker flies by? Do you break the rules if you keep walking, you know, to follow the ivory bill? Do you have to stay sitting? That's a really good question. <laughs> the answer is yes and no. If you're in the circle and you see a really good bird, but you don't quite get a good ID on it and it flies on, you're allowed to leave the circle to go confirm its identity by the rules of the official big sit. However, while you're out there, if you see you know, an ivory billed woodpecker, and then you see a red cockaded woodpecker and a passenger pigeon, those birds don't count because you didn't see them from within the circle. Okay. This brings up all kinds of crazy things. I've run back, stuck a toe in the circle, leaned out to try and see a bird. <laughs> you know. What do you think the significance is? What can someone do with a big sit? I mean, is it just to see how many birds you see in one spot, or can you take it to another level? You can take it in any direction you want. A lot of bird clubs are using big sits as fundraisers. They'll set up in a park that's very high traffic, a lot of public uh, visibility and they'll invite the news media, the newspapers, and they'll do a fundraiser, you know, maybe get pledges per bird from passers-by, from members of the bird club, and uh, some clubs around the country have done, raised quite a bit of money that way for conservation causes. Now, is the big sit just in the United States, or can Canadians participate too? No Canadians. Oh, okay. keep, it's, this is a Canadian-free event. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, we welcome our brothers and sisters to the north. Okay. We, anybody around the world can participate in the Big Sit. It's free. All you have to do is sign up ahead of time and register your circle, get your name in there, and we hope send in your data later. So we've had countries all over the world participating, Indonesia, India, um, Thailand, Vietnam, Venezuela. Wow. So it's really a worldwide event. Sweet. How many people can you have on the team? Because in some events, you're only allowed so many people on a team. How many people can you have on your team in a big sit? As many people as you can cram into your 17-foot diameter circle. Sweet. We've had 24 in our circle before up in the tower. A little tight, can't really use the scope. What's the purpose of a big sit? Fun. <laughs> it, it, fun and camaraderie. I mean, what I love about it is it's the antithesis of a competitive, competitive big day where you're racing all over the place, running around. You know, it, you get to stay in one place, relax, set up camp. You know, a lot of big sit circles have a little hibachi grill and a, co a cooler <laughs> and some folks will listen to ball games while they're doing it. I mean, the, you know, it's not great birding. You're, you're, you can't get up and leave if it's dead. You have to sit there and, and deal with it. But that's when you have fun. You're talking to your friends, your buddies, your birding pals. And uh, I just love it. It's a social event. It's like the perfect blend of social and, and birding.
Yeah. You see anything yet? Nope. Do you see anything yet? Not yet. Got any new birds yet, Bill? Not yet. Okay. What's that sound? Oh. That was my stomach. Oh, excuse you. Mm -hmm.